Hello uh, everyone on uh, YouTube. It's Simon from Bucks Guinea Pig Talks and today um, it's the 12th of February 2024. We are discussing the pregnancy of Democritus. Uh, this is just a, a video to inform and to educate as part of our four pillars on our channel which is to amuse to entertain to educate and to inform about guinea pigs our fantastic guinea pigs so we like to give talks that's why it's bucks guinea pig talks and we live in buckinghamshire in england so today i just wanted to spend a few minutes discussing democritus and her pregnancy now we expect her to have the babies in march and we weigh all our guinea pigs every single sunday so it's quite good for a health check and just to see how they're coming along and also to see you know if everything's all okay making sure weight's going on and sometimes yes we can even work out roughly how many babies mum might have so um obviously let's let's discuss the elephant in the room there as she goes in there the elephant in the room is breeding pets okay it can be done if it is done in a very sensible manner okay we do obviously are aware there are many rescues are, are overflowing but that comes down to poor owners okay that is comes down to poor uh, people making uh, poor decisions uh, generally people that can't look after guinea pigs or any animal or those that simply um, haven't done the research okay so um here we we have uh, low level breeding and we uh, we do occasionally have them available and but the people have gone our way to this one there for ages and ages and we do make sure they have a proper setup so we are quite okay in that respect on how we we view the matter now we uh, and also I go into schools and nurseries and I speak to many many children throughout the year directly about animal welfare and uh, having babies breeding them from animals is one of the matters I discuss and I certainly don't encourage it because this setup that we've got is something which has taken um, a few years to slowly build up and we've got three family lines and we breed from the youngest and then we keep a female and then we'll carry on in that respect so that's what we do so we are doing a series on um democritus it's called democritus is, is pregnant or the pregnancy of democritus and we're going to do a few parts of this and we do hope that people will be able to watch and to sort of learn more about um about what happens now there's obviously no guarantee this will be a success but we sincerely hope it will be if it's not a success it's still a very valuable series and hopefully it will be there to uh, to inform and entertain. If we have some babies, there'll be some entertainment, uh, maybe some amusement at the end. But at the moment, we're just here to inform and to educate. So those of you that maybe have a couple of guinea pigs, let's go to the other side, got a couple of guinea pigs. Uh, maybe you want to know about having babies with guinea pigs. Maybe not because you want baby guinea pigs, but just purely to find out about them. So let's... Uh, Let's start with some details. Uh, Democritus, okay, her, she was born on, uh, let's zoom in. She was born on the 29th of April of 2023. Uh, she was from a litter of five. This is her mum, this is Xenocrates. And um, uh, the male guinea pigs we borrow from our friend. Okay, that's that's aunt, that's, uh, that's Xenocrates' sister, that's Luna. So uh, Democritus, she was one of five a litter of five uh, that were born. They were born alive and uh, the live births. And uh, she was one of five. And uh, yeah, on the 29th of April, 2023. Now of those five, uh, one sadly uh, died uh, after a couple of days. But the others, there were three girls and one male. Now we kept Democritus because she was, uh, the, other, the other two females looked a bit like mum. And we wanted to go back to the ones that looked more white and lighter. So we kept Democritus. And she's got a lovely black patch on her nose because her dad uh, had Californian genes and he was a teddy. She's a pure breed teddy. So um, that's what happened. So, so, so we're going to inform and educate uh, on this series of our videos. And I just want to spend a few minutes today just giving you some basics, what we do, how we do it, 
So uh, Democritus there, let's just try and keep quiet. Uh, Democritus, she is now, um, let's see, she's now nine months old. Um, so good time, she's halfway through her pregnancy and uh, she's been in with a male. Uh, she was there just before Christmas and she came back a couple of weeks ago. So we weigh all our guinea pigs every single Sunday. Um, as you can see, she's quite still, she's quite relaxed. Uh, we don't do anything special. We make sure they always have fresh vegetables and fruit every day and lots of hay. You'll see lots and lots of hay. And also she's with um, her mum here and her aunt. So both of them, are, she's quite comfortable with them. At this point, they'll start squabbling. Uh, so it's all good. So we're going to do a series. We hope that you keep watching the series. Um, I'll do a part two soon. We'll do links. And hopefully it's be a good reference point for the future. Uh, we can't guarantee any success, but we sincerely hope we do have some success. But if we don't have success, it's still a very valuable um, reference point. So there we are. So that is six minutes. I think that's that's pretty good. Um, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's keep going for a couple more minutes and then we can stop. So, uh, okay, so, so how long have we got left? We've got about four weeks left. How do I know we've got four weeks left? Well, obviously we've got the weights and you can feel the babies um, when they're inside mum's uh, tummy and you can also uh, feel them moving. You can see the baby's moving. There we are, she goes again. So we're gonna just fire these guinea pigs. I want you to see guinea pigs, I don't want you to see nothing. Um, that's how close can we get? So, so there we are, there's the Noctis. Hello, hello. Now Zenoctes has had um, uh, other youngsters and they've had babies. So Zenoctes has been a grandmother, um, but uh, that other litter she had was not a teddy litter. So we wanted a teddy litter, hence why we've kept Democritus. Now uh, Democritus, she'll have her babies all being well. They'll be, um, they'll be alive, there'll be no problem. She will then um, have those. Uh, and we want her really to have them with, with her, her family here because then if there's any uh, sort of confidence issues or anything like that then she's with other guinea pigs um, there's no males in here so she's absolutely fine in that respect um, if you leave males in with the females and they have babies then there's a chance that the males will then mate them straight away because they're very very fertile once they've had babies and you could end up with more babies 60 odd days down the line, 63 days, 65 days down the line. So we don't want that. So we've got uh, Democritus here. I said we borrowed the male. Um, she actually went off for a few weeks and uh, she is looking very, very good. We weighed her on Sunday and she, her weight has gone up a little bit. I need another couple more weighs really. And then we'll find out what she actually is because I didn't have any weights for seven weeks when she was away. So I, I anticipate, um, and I think that she's due in about mid-March. So we'll do another video, uh, probably in about 10 days time, and that'll be part two, and then you'll see quite a difference. We'll give some facts and figures, some numbers, and we'll do some close-ups and we'll see how she's getting on. But at the moment, she is looking good. Her eyes look good, they're very bright. She's eating, she's healthy. She's mixing well with her mum there and her aunt. There are, there's the squabbling. Um, and it's all very, very good. So thank you very much for watching part one. I wanna get more videos up, okay? If you haven't already seen the um, the video that I did a couple of days ago, introducing all 13, please do watch it. I'll put a link back on this video. Thank you very much indeed. Um, if you've got this far, do subscribe to our channel, okay? We're rapidly overhauling it. I think we're gonna do a live, uh, do some uh, live streaming later in the week. And uh, yeah, we've got 5,200 of you. Let's keep going and growing. Thank you very much. My name's Simon. You are watching Bucks Guinea Pig Talks. Uh, and thank you very much. Okay, take care now.